In today's Focus on Family, skin cancer prevention and sun safety for all skin types and all ages. May is National Melanoma Skin Cancer Detection and Prevention Month. And Dr. Amy Derrick is a board-certified medical and cosmetic dermatologist based in Barrington. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. You I think it is so important to talk about this because as women, we always want to look better. We want to go out and tan. And a lot of cancers get a lot of publicity, and I don't think people realize how dangerous and how prevalent melanoma is. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States. And one person every hour dies of melanoma. Can you believe that? And melanoma is um, one of the things that's common in young people. It's the number one cause of death in, in women aged 25 to 29. Um, melanoma is, uh, is something to focus on, especially in the month of May, because it is National Skin Cancer Awareness Month. And there really is something different about it. I know women look at their skin and think, oh, I have some freckles. And, you know, is this something that I should be seeing a dermatologist about? And there are some easy ways to sort of figure out if something is maybe a mold that you should get checked out. Right. Um, American Academy of Dermatology has a, a, B, C, D, and E, which are ways of looking at your own skin to find out if something's abnormal. It helps you because it's easy to remember. You it's know? easy to remember. And the A refers to asymmetry. That's right. If something's asymmetrical. B is a border irregularity. C is a color if there's more than one color. Okay, so it has a little variation, variation of color in it. A couple of colors. D is a, a diameter greater than a pencil eraser. And the most important one, Dina, is evolution, which is E, which is a change. If you have a new or changing spot, that's the worst type of, of spot. You need to be seen right away. And I know, I've, I've talked to our viewers before about the fact that I'm a melanoma survivor and made the mistake of letting something go that was growing and changing and calling the doctor and not getting in there early enough. And I think... It, it just is so important, and I, and I don't know how often you see that. Right. Um, I usually see my patients about once a year for a full skin cancer screening, and in the month of May, there are a lot of skin cancer screenings that are free to the public at a lot of the hospitals um, around the area, and you can go to melanomamonday.org to find a free skin cancer screening in your area. Which is so terrific. Who are the people that should get annual scans? If you have a family history, or is there anyone else that maybe should call up and say, I need to do this every single year, not just once? There are a lot of different reasons people should get screened, but most importantly, if you have fair skin, a history of a lot of sunburns, a history of skin cancer, people who have organ transplants or on medicines that suppress the immune system. Um, and if you're worried, of course, about any spot, you should always go to your board-certified dermatologist to be looked at. Exactly. So we're talking about diagnosis, but we also have to talk about prevention, and that really is what Melanoma right. Monday is all about, and thinking about protecting your skin. We didn't know any better maybe when, when I was growing up, but right. we do now. And so we need the vitamin D of the sun. I hear people tell me that all the time, but right. we also need not to get burned. Right, exactly. And vitamin D can be received through oral supplementation. You don't need to get sun exposure for that. There's no safe level of sun exposure um, to counteract the known risk of increase skin cancer. What are the types of sunblocks that we use and what is the block that we should use? Be right. I like an SPF of 30 and a physical blocker, which means it's zinc or titanium dioxide based. There's a lot of great ones that are drugstore. Aveeno has a mineral block that's new and, and Neutrogena has a nice uh, sunscreen that's called Baby that's really nice. So you don't need to necessarily get them from a doctor. You don't need to spend a tremendous amount of money for them. Just they have to have certain ingredients. I like physical blockers, which are mineral, which reflect the light from the sun. And okay. so they're not a chemical sunscreen, which can be irritating or make your face red. A lot of people don't want to wear sunscreens on their face because they don't want to um, create acne or make their skin look worse. And this is a great way of wearing a sunscreen and not having those problems. And I have sensitive skin and often get rashes from certain yeah, sunscreens exactly. and certain ingredients on right. them. And so then you think, okay, well, you know, don't wear it. But you have to. You have to wear sunscreen on your face every day. And it's actually, it actually needs to be reapplied every hour and a half. Um, and then I also brought some sun protective clothing to show today. Um, these are really cute K&J um, sun protective clothing, a UPF, which is the SPF for clothing. Right, which um, is great which, for, for kids and for stuff. For little kids. And so you, don't, you can have protection because a regular white T-shirt has an SPF of, or a UPF of about eight, where these are 50. So it's Excellent. a cute way of being sun You think safe. because they have a yeah. shirt on that they're going to be safe, but not right. necessarily. Exactly. Dr. Derek, thank you so much. Thank you, such Dina. great information, such important information. I really thank appreciate you, you coming in. Remember, May is National Melanoma Skin Cancer Detection and Prevention Month. And Friday, May 27th is Don't Fry Day. If you want more advice, if you want to check out these tips again, go to DerekDermatology.com or for a link, or if you want to watch Dr. Derek's tips and have her explain exactly what you should be looking for, go to WGNTV.com slash midday and we'll link you right there. Coming up next in the Midday Buzz, big changes coming.